Hello there, this is Peter with PM Designs. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a very easy screw screw cap bottle. Um, just to show you there that it goes all the way around. And yeah, anyway. So, okay, and also how to make the cap to go with it. So let me just show you the cap. We can hide the thing and you can see that the cap will, this is, I just threw this together very quickly. But you can see that the cap will fit the thread. Um, so let's get a new new blender going. Um, this is really easy, um, but maybe I don't know. Maybe you don't you don't know how to do it. But first, I'm just going to show you what some people might be tempted to do, uh, which will not work. Well, it will work, but it wants a bit of a f bit of a faff, a bit of messing around involved. So let's just say I'm just going to use this for now, just a random mesh. Um, you got this screw modifier, and you can you can make a kind of thread with that. Let me just. Uh, set that a little bit more so you can see it yeah you could make a thread with that so you could just start with a single um, part of a thread and just do the screw modifier but the only problem with this if you've ever looked at a screw or a bottle cap oh my days that's pretty tall isn't it um, a screw or a bottle cap the, the first part of the thread and the last part of the thread actually taper in to join the, the bottle to join the rest of it so you could do it with this but it involves a bit of manipulation and it'd be really hard to get it perfect so I'm gonna keep this um, I'm gonna keep this thing this is gonna be the beginning of um, a bottle cap so I've just got that I'm gonna make it about, about that size I need to well first I need to get rid of the let me get rid of the bottom bottom cap and I'm going to add some loop cuts. Well, let's do it with the control R. It's easier. Control R. Oh, let me get my screen card keys. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Sorry, I always forget to do this. Right, so now if I control R, and I'm going to add about four loop cuts. That'll do. And then I'm just going to press escape so it fits roughly in the middle. I'm also going to subdivide it now. Uh, because no, I added those loop cuts just to make these subdivisions a bit more even. And then let's just get this into a nice, ordinary, um, almost cylinder, something like that. All right, and also let's, oh, sorry, let's bring this in. This shouldn't take long. I'm hoping it will be less than 10 minutes, but I'm just, I should have done this before subdividing, really. Um, yeah, but just getting some detail on top because we're going to use the Boolean modifier. If you haven't used that before, it's uh, pretty easy. But yes, yeah, so I'm just going to make sure that my subdivision is applied. And let's just shade it smooth so it looks nice. Um, I need to, right, so we need to go to preferences. If you don't have this already in your add ons, you need to find the bolt factory, which I already have it turned on. Bolt factory here. Turn it on, make sure it saves, get your auto save on. Because, yeah, I found this, the, this bolt factory, and it's really useful for making meshes and so on um, it doesn't matter how many start with but the, you might want to mess with the shape here because this we're going to use this to cut the shape we're going to add the shape to that cylinder um, so we want to mess with the crescent uh, percent here which will make these bits a little bit uh, thicker taller whatever we can also bring the, the screw down a bit with the thread length we don't need we don't need that many on a bottle. Some you know like a, a cola bottle or something has about two or three complete circles on there, but that'll do. This will do for us. Right. So now we're going to edit this a little bit. Um, quickly do this very quickly. Uh, use the L X F, and then get rid of all of these, and then get rid of all of that. And yeah, that's okay. So now we just go adjust the size. We want the size to just fit our cylinder, just with these, with the thread sticking out of the cylinder slightly. So now you can see that we're going to have this final part of the thread taper in to uh, to our shape. And yeah, I'm going to bring that down a bit because we're also going to want the, the whatever this is called, the mouthpiece. Just notice there's an extra edge ring there. You can go away, right? So that almost looks like the bottle, uh, the bottle top. Yeah, let's just 
bring it up slightly. So we want it to where the inner edge of the thread just touches our cylinder about there. The reason I'm doing it with the cylinder is because um, if you try and cut this, cut pieces off of this thread, it gets very complicated. So it's just all, and then you've got to try and symmetric, symmetrize it, and it's all a lot of trouble. So yeah, about there. Also get rid of, don't need to get rid of that. Bring that down slightly to about there. All right, it's not quite right. <laughs> Sorry, it takes a bit of fiddling around. So I'm gonna click on my cylinder modifier, Boolean object is gonna be the bolt. And that is it, it's done. Oh no, sorry, that's indifference. I wanna put, <laughs> want put it in union. Okay, and then click fast, just cause it makes it a little bit smoother. So then I can apply that and then get rid of the bolt. And that is the remain what remains of our cylinder. It's now got a thread on it and a mouthpiece at the top. That's it, done. Yeah, and then so if you wanted to build your, your bottle, you could just click this, um, sorry, which button am I pressing here? Click this edge and start extruding your bottle down. Yeah, it just work like that. Oh. Let's, wait, let's just, there you go. Okay, so it's kind of a bottle, anyway. Yeah, so also you could mess with the this edge up a bit here. You might maybe you want to bring it down a bit. Anyway, so now just to make the the cap, the bottle cap, very easily as well, I'm going to use the same method. I'm going to add a cylinder, um, and I'm going to size it. Why am I all the way over here? I'm going to position it over the, the where you know where I want the bottle cap to be. Something like that. It's a little bit long, isn't it? But yeah. Also, I'm going to subdivide this as well, not before adding some loops across the the body of it, just because it will be easier to subdivide. Let's do it on top as well, because I forgot to do that last time. We'll just combine those. M O. Right. I've got a burp building up. <laughs> Sorry, and it's waiting to come out. I'm trying my best not to do it. All right. Um. Yeah. That's okay. Not too bad. Bring it down to here. I forgot to add the um, on the bottle. There should be a bit of a lip where the screw stops. So let me just do that very quickly, so it looks a bit more realistic. I'll get all of this as well. And I'm just going to add that in here. Oh, whoops. Oh, sorry, I forgot to extrude that. Something like that. Excuse me. Thank you. Something like that. Let me see what that looks like without the uh, without the bottle cap here. Yeah, it's not too bad. Change it smooth. If I click on it first, it will work. Look at that. And as you can see, the the thread tapers in a bit. Might want to subdivide that again, actually, or we can might try the weighted normals. But turn on my sh uh, smooth shading first. Oh no, that's terrible. Don't want that. Okay, we'll get rid of that then. Um, we could subdivide it. Oh, that's not too bad at all. Nice and smooth. Anyway, um, go back to the cap. Let's call this cap. So I know what I'm doing. I am going to just. Add some more loops down here to get that nice and smooth, and up here as well. Get that a bit more square. Okay. So that's going to be our cap. At the moment, it is just just to show you, it is just a cylinder. Oh, I need to subdivide that bottom edge. Oh, excuse me. Something like that. That'll do. Join those again. Just make sure they're joined together. Right. So then. <coughs> apply my um, subdivision, bring back my bottle, and I'm going to do the, the same thing here. I'm going to add the, I'm going to bring it up a little bit, add the Boolean modifier with union to, from the bottle. Oh, no, not from union, sorry, from with difference from the bottle, fast. And I'll just apply that, and then if I hide the bottle, you can see we've got a thread inside. 
easy, huh? And then you just gotta, you know, finish off the, the cap. When, if you don't know this, I found this recently. I felt really stupid. Um, let me do it this way. It'll probably be easier. Excuse me. This is just a way which is really useful for selecting every other. Yeah, maybe you know this. I found it only a little while ago, and I found it very useful for making things like bottle caps. I, d I want to select every other one. You go to this thing here, check a deselect. It's really cool. And also you can choose how many you deselect or how many you select. So I could have it like this or whatever, but I only want it on one. Um, so if I were to do like that, then I could extrude on the, like that. And again, it kind of helps with the making corrugated uh, surfaces. I don't know if it's corrugated, whatever the word is. Anyway, there you go. Hope you found it useful. So just remember, bolt factory, cylinder, get your Boolean modifier, union. Yeah, so the th so the thread of the cylinder becomes part of the uh, sorry the thread of the bolt becomes part of the cylinder, and then if you want to make your cap, you just stick a cylinder over the thread, and do a difference boolean. Okay, so thanks very much. If you like that, please, you know, let me know that you like it.